welcome back to the channel guys um today our video will be all about this beautiful box right here lightning overdrive we have book of moon eclipse we have a bunch of new starlight rares that i want to try to get which is why i'm opening up this box i know it's a week late but i i gotta i gotta do it i gotta try uh i'm a gambler on the inside you know, everybody knows this uh, so this mat was produced by my amazing friend, Tim. He was the one who gave us the Dark Magician deck profile a couple of months ago at this point, uh, which I will be doing an update on, on my own personally. But, you know, shout out to Tim for uh, helping me get one of these. I, I really loved the mat when he showed it to me and I thought it was great. Uh, anyway, you have Lightning Overdrive, Utopia stuff, great stuff. And uh, I'm hoping to get the... Book of Lunar Eclipse, Dark Honest. Anything else around that? Not really looking for, to be honest. I don't know what this is. That is very odd. This whole side is upside down. Is that normal? That's not normal. 12 upside down packs. Well, I hope that doesn't mean less luck. Uh, I guess we'll open up from this side since it seems less tainted by the people at Konami. I have been lucky before to get a Starlight Rare. We got the DD Crow, Scrap Raptor, new card, Sun Avalon, okay, S Force, Bujin. I didn't know that they had more cards coming up. That's weird. Veronic Guardian Sphinx. Pretty cool. All right. Well, there's our first Hollow. God. I know I'm just going to, uh, War Rock, War Rock Dignity, there's our first Ultra, War Rock cards, I mean, I don't know if they were expecting to get amazing support in this set, but, let's see if we can just go straight for the hollows just to try to make this video a little shorter, I'm sure that you guys have seen all of this stuff over again, also this new card here came out, I don't know, Supposed to make plunders very good. Haven't seen anything real competitive from them yet, but maybe that's just because people would rather play things that they would know are gonna win in tournaments. Okay, stay sailor. Stay sailor. Romarin. Interesting. All right, now I know I'm gonna get smack talk from one of my friends for the way I open this pack because he always talks shit about it. Okay. I. I don't have the right words to say about this. I really could have gotten anything else except for that one. I probably would have been much happier, but uh, I've never played with plants before. That's new. S-Force, Lobobble, X-Lord. Okay, Spriggans, Terrors. Okay, let's go right into it. Amazement, that's another one. Another archetype that everybody's really into right now. Don't really know how it's performing in tournaments. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are giving that one a lot of hype. But. Okay. Wow. Jesus Christ, man. How small is that lettering? God, man. You just had to cram that in there. Names are going to get too long in this game. see what else we get. If I pull a star there, right? In dark. The at Ignister stuff. Ignister. Ignister cards. Dark infants. Where's the adult infants? Ruddy Rose Witch. I, I just remembered this comes with Ruddy Rose Dragon. I actually got one already. I don't need another one. I could, I could be, I just need any other, any other secret rare, please. Warrock Spirit. You guys could probably still pick up the Warrock core. I'm pretty sure that Konami's going to do something where they just give that one like crazy support at some point in the future. It's probably going to be worth a lot down the road. Try to pick up a core of anything when it's cheap. When it gets... You don't regret it afterwards. Amazement. Good stuff. 
I'm gonna go for the other half of upside down packs. Oh, uh, expendable die. Seems pretty cool. What is this? This is actually pretty good. Seems pretty good. That one's gonna be so that that's I feel like that's gonna be that's gonna be worth something in the future. Oh, oh god. Book of Lunar Eclipse. There you go. Got one. One. That I'm very happy for. I feel like that's gonna be like the uh the twin twister. Nobody's gonna use it right now. Perfect time to pick it up. As soon as as soon as something comes out in the future, it always happens. Always, always. Cheap now, expensive later. Zexel Construction. Okay. Amazement cards. I don't think that I can pull a Starlight Rare after pulling out two secrets, but we can always hope. I. This is also a very good card, actually. Spellcaster, one dragon. Um. Pretty sure this could be used in a Dark Magician deck. Putting that to the side. Very generic. Um, probably Dragoon's Worst Nightmare. Ron of the Disciplined Angel. Proof of Proofless? What? So this helps you tribute summon a monster immediately after it's summoned. So you, the, the next summon you'd have to do would have to be pretty good. Don't really know what you'd have to use for that. Maybe I'm thinking too small. So I, I feel like you could use that with something, but I'm just not sure right now. A rocks, rose, dragon. More war rock support. Good stuff. Oh, trap tricks. Waifus. Alright. I'm breaking these packs open in a very weird way. I'm just hoping I don't break anything. Rank up Magic Zexal Force. Jesus. That is a lot. There's the, oh, this, this helps with the Utopia cards. Nice. Very, very good. There's your Utopia support right there. And I'm just going to come out with some more Utopia cards that are probably going to skyrocket something in. Maybe like Ghost Rare Utopia. War Rock Wento. That's the first one I've seen. One by one. Not one for one. Maybe, but I mean, this is what I pulled out. I, I have to at least open up one one box from every set uh, just to see what I can get. And you know, if I ended up opening up a uh, Starlight Red, that would have been that would have been crazy on camera. But I, I gotta test my luck. But you know, we play the field, see what happens. Most of my money has actually been going mostly. Uh, the majority of it has been going towards Digimon, as you saw in my previous video. If you follow this channel for the, for that long, I've been opening up a lot of Digimon because you could play four copies of every card. I'm like, Yu-Gi-Oh is the only game, and I we talked about this before, but Yu-Gi-Oh is the only game where you play three copies of a card. Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Why Schwartz, uh, Pokemon, and frick, my brain is just not functioning right now. Uh, you know, you, you can play four copies of cards in those games for some reason. I don't know why. But this one, you need only three. Um, any who's it's ride with me on this journey. I will be posting up more gameplay videos later on down the road. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know that this one was kind of dry, but it's because I'm it's kind of late. And I'm going to be packing to go to California soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you stayed this long, please like the video, comment. Subscribe if you like this kind of content, uh, or if you've seen my pretty previous videos, I'll be trying to edit more content like that. I uh, appreciate you, and have a good one. Peace.